So a user on YouTube asked, Can I make this video in English? I'll try my best. Let's go. <laughs> Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now I've actually covered this before and essentially what I'm going to do is show you how to control the weight map with fur or particles. And this means we can actually dictate where the fur lands or where it's placed on the mesh. Now I have this amazing model, Weta, you can call me any time of the week. <laughs> and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the particle options, I'm going to add in a new particle and we'll make it here. Now the length's a little bit big so what we'll do is we'll actually drop this down to something like one metre. Now as you can see we have no real control over where the hair is landing. Now what we can actually do is create a weight map and we can control the density of the weight map. Very easy to do, it'll take you two seconds to be honest. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to quickly go into weight paint and I'm actually going to put the strength up and I'll keep the weight at one. Now if I actually go to the vertex objects you can see I have no vertex map. So when I start painting it'll actually create a vertex map for me. Now what I recommend you do is you call this something that you know will work. So we'll call this fur. I'll quickly jump back into object mode, I'll go to my particle settings and then I'll come all the way down to the vertex groups. And as you can see we have density. Now this is where we apply the weight map. So we can add in fur and we get this nice punk rocker. Pretty cool to be honest, pretty easy. And as you can see we can actually control more variables. Things like the length, the clump, the roughness, all using things like weight maps. Nice and easy. Now, let me show you another very quick tip. So let's quickly jump into weight painting. And what I'm going to do here is, is I'm just going to quickly apply a gradient. Now we could go in and we could set the weight down to zero and we could paint out the eyes. But it can be a little bit tedious. So there is another method. What we can actually do is we can actually go into edit mode. And let's say for example we want to select an eye. So what I can do is I can select a polygon in the eye for example and I can press Control and plus and this does an expansion of the polygons. Perfect. So I'll quickly zoom out just a little bit. You can go to vertex, go to vertex groups and you can see here remove from the active group. Now the active group is a vertex map that we created and we're selected on which is fur. So if I click on remove from active group, I go back into the object you can see here there is no fur being generated on the eyeball. Nice and easy to be honest and it's a very quick way to remove polygons from a vertex map. So again we go to vertex, vertex group, remove from active group. So what we can actually do is we can remove it from all. So let's say for example we have four or five different weight maps all in one model. We can remove all of these polygons from that weight map. So remove from active group, let's go back into object mode and there we go. Now what you might notice here is we're actually getting particles travelling through. So they're actually getting bounced from the normals and coming through here. So you need to be careful with things like this. Now there is a few other ways we can actually control these particles. And this is the particle edit mode. So if we come up to the top left, you can see here particle edit. Now when you apply particle edit, it actually freezes your particles. So you need to be careful of this. You can see some of the hair particles just being completely destroyed here. So we have a few tools on the left hand side. So we can actually add more particles, we can change the length, we can puff them up. So let's press F to put the brush up. The main one is combing. You can actually comb the particles. And obviously the more dense that you have the particles or you have more busier curves on the particles, the better it will look. And that's pretty much how you control particles using a weight map. It's very simple to be honest. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Take care.